The players that come play for us, they understand before they even step on campus, the reason I want to go to Connecticut is I don't want it to be all about me. Matter of fact, there's a pretty good chance if you come to Connecticut, you'll never lead the country in anything, you know, except wins. When I called Coach Dino to congratulate him for winning the title again, I told him we have his room ready uh, for when he gets here. He does seem to spend an awful lot of time here. Gino Oriama's club wins the American Conference again. It's tough in its own way, but it's extremely something that you want in your entire life. And I think I've started to learn the method to his madness, not really because it always changes. Um, but he finds something that you're not doing well and he harps on it. And then as soon as you do it well, he finds something new that you weren't doing well and harps on that. And I think that's what makes him so great, that he's never satisfied with you just being a good player. He wants to push you to elevate you to that next level. I think in some ways it's just different. It's not harder or you know easier. It's just different. You see, you know, growing up watching him on TV, you see all the things that stereotypical, like you see him yelling and stuff. But you know, he's a great coach to play with, and I'm just happy to be here. Um, thick skin, that's for sure. Uh, I've learned to take what he's saying and not necessarily how he's saying it. And also, too, I think what people don't realize is. If he's on you like that and if he's saying something, it's probably a good thing than if he's not saying anything to you. Because it means that he expects more and he thinks you can do better and he knows you can do better. So it, you almost get kind of excited when he is getting on you because you're like, okay, he thinks I'm more than what I'm showing. Well, I would say that you need to love the game of basketball more than anything because it's, you're going to be put to the test of how much you can handle mentally and there's going to be times where it might not be the most fun, but you, know, you have to know that he's pushing you to be the best player you can be and that he ha does it in the, the best interest for you. And I would say that just know that you're going to be pushed but that you can get through it and you have your teammates to rely on. They're always going to be there for you. Good players, great players, lots of them. Uh, a culture where you expect to win every night. Uh, players that are committed to being coached, they enjoy being coached, they want you to coach them. Uh, so all these things are kind of rare. I think that's probably why it doesn't happen very much. You know, you've got a lot of the opposite of what I just talked about. you got a lot of players who go to college, they don't want to be coached really hard and they don't want demands placed on them. And they, they, there isn't a culture of this is how we're going to do it and that's, that's all there is to it. So. Having all those things come together is, is, is not easy. It's not easy. I think anyone coming into the program knows that, you know, they hear about it all the time, they hear about what a tough program and tough coach he is, but you don't actually understand it until you're a part of it. And you know it's going to be hard, but you don't necessarily know how you're going to handle it until it actually happens to you. I think the, the enjoyment that I still get from making something happen for a group of players who maybe wouldn't be able to make it happen on their own. Um, that kind of self-satisfaction that you get when somebody looks at you and goes, wow, coach, I didn't know I could do that. And as long as you know, we feel like we're doing that for, for them, yeah, it, it makes you want to keep doing it.